So Justin Ross once again shines in preseason. Now, I know y'all probably like, bro, come on. All he did was a 23-yard catch. But here's the key. Justin Ross did the 23-yard catch, and Andy Reid automatically pulled him out the game. When Reid does that to somebody in preseason, that means he's seen enough. He's seen enough. He didn't have to see no more of Ross. Ross won his trust. Ross won his impression. Literally with that play, he didn't have to see no more out of Justin Ross. And he also had another play that was ended up called back where he worked with the quarterback. He ended up, you know, getting separation. And he made a pretty good grab. But the thing that I realized about the Justin Ross catch is like he literally came back to the ball. I can't show the catch because I'm going to get copyrighted, sadly. But on Twitter, y'all can easily just type in Justin Ross preseason and y'all can see the catch. So he literally could have kept If that was Mahomes, he could have just won on a go route. Mahomes would have threw the ball ahead and Ross would have won on a go route. But he had to come back to the ball because it was a back shoulder type of throw. You know, and it's just impressive. Like, it just makes you very, very excited for what Ross could do and what Ross is going to bring to this team. And he brings that physicality. He brings that strength, that, that elite athleticism. So I love what I'm honestly seeing out of Justin Ross. I love what I've seen out of the Kansas City Chiefs in that preseason game. I was busy all day today. That's why I really didn't get to, you know, give y'all the content that I should have. But tomorrow I'll make it up for Well, I actually got problems. Well, I got some things to do tomorrow as well. Like, you know, got a, a job and stuff. So, But I'm, I'm going to get y'all the content. I'm going to get y'all at least two, to, two videos tomorrow. One guarantee. I'm trying to gain... I'm trying to aim, sorry, for two to three vids. But, yeah, Justin Ross, he looked pretty good in the preseason. And I think that it's a chance he might make the roster. The injury with Hollywood Brown, that was honestly unfortunate. I hate the fact that that had to happen. But Justin Ross, I really like his skill set over Sky. I like it over Tony. I really believe that Ross should be solidified as a wide receiver four. I believe he has the skill set to, you know, really be a wide receiver four, to be honest. But I don't know. We'll see. I love what I've seen out of Justin Ross. I mean, he showed the guy. He He's really showing that he wants to be something in the NFL. And like I said, and like I always say in every video I make about him, how can't you root for Justin Ross's success? I mean, he went through a lot. He had a spinal problem. He had foot injuries, neck, all types of injuries. And he was, he was supposed to be a top 10 prospect in that draft class, but the injuries held him back. So for him to be bouncing back with the Chiefs and... You know, going out there, making all these catches when he literally had a life-threatening injury. And for him to come back and play this good, I feel like the coaches should definitely give him a big chance, man. Because he's really something special. He has special talent. I mean, he's 6'4", and he moves like a smaller wide receiver. I'm not going to say he's super fast, but he's very fluid. You know, he runs routes pretty well. He creates separation. But his catch radius is insane. Like, he doesn't really drop much of these tough passes like these tough catches that you don't expect other wide receivers to make Ross is making them like if you look at the catch it was on the sideline he had to leap over the defender and then he had to keep his toes in bounds so beautiful toe tap catch by Justin Ross and I really really want to see him shine man like he's he's really he has a lot of potential um I'm also gonna make a video on Lewis Rezami I didn't really get to make a video on him I didn't really see too much from him anyway all we seen was, you know, just some just some clips. It was raw, but he kind of looks stiff. But he's also new to football, so we got to give him some time. I mean, him looking stiff is, you know, it's not that bad of a thing. And, yeah, man, I mean, it was very good to see from what we seen from Justin Ross. Um, hopefully, he gets some playing time. He earns some playing time. Because last season was unfortunate that he didn't really get the playing time that he deserved. So when you look at the last spot or two on the Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver depth morning. chart. Stacking the box um, is now a morning it's, show, whether it's we like it or not. Confusing. My you know, it's pretty confusing because we don't know who's gonna get it. I mean, it's interesting, but honestly, Justin Ross is seeming to be that guy. I mean, the catch it was it was literally insane. Like, you know, 23 yards, 23 yards, sideline, toe tap, beautiful grab. You know, Hollywood Brown's going to miss some time. He dislocated his um, shoulder, I believe. 
and the 26 to 13 loss versus the Jaguars. So I believe we should believe in the Justin Ross hype again. I mean, he literally did well in his preseason game. He did well in training camp. He's been looking pretty, pretty good. Um, we know that he joined the Chiefs as an undrafted free agent in 2022. And the buzz surrounding Justin Ross, it has never really stopped. You know, he was able to make some highlight reel catches in training camp and parts of two years. And during last year's preseason, Ross displayed some solid results on the field against opposing teams, you know. And that fueled his ability to make the 53-man roster in 2023. And now that he's doing it again, having another pretty strong preseason, I think he's going to make the roster again because Andy Reid didn't need to see no more after that catch. He took him out the game, which means he's protecting him. So if Andy Reid would have kept him in the game, then we would have been like, ah, oh, he got more work to do. But Reid seen enough. He pulled him. So he may be able to go out there, you know, week one, maybe against the Baltimore Ravens and make some pretty good moves. We're going to need him in the red zone. We're going to need a big bodied wide receiver like him because we don't really have no big bodied wide receivers. Rice isn't really considered big body in my opinion. And Justin Watson, he's kind of big body, but he ain't no Ross. Hollywood Brown, come on, he's not big body. Worthy, not big body. Tony Moore, those dudes are nowhere near big bodied. So, yeah, man, I mean, Ross and against the Minnesota Vikings in week five of last season, he was able to make a contested catch. But outside of that, the excitement from his training camp and the preseason never really translated to a, you know, guaranteed role within a wide receiver room within the wide receiver room that wasn't been good it was a poor wide receiver room so yeah but that commissioner's exempt list that he was placed on and receiving a suspension it definitely changed a lot from him in a negative way and at that point the hype train it appeared to have left justin rose behind but he has worked his way back into the mix this all season and in this preseason as well so it has been an up and down training camp for some wide receivers and injuries had played a part and now injuries are starting to play a part in preseason so Ross is continuing to win reps. So his chances are his chances are very intriguing in terms of him making the roster. And I believe he will make the roster easily. He shouldn't have a problem making the roster. He's playing hard. He's doing what he has to do. And yeah, I love what I'm seeing out of him in preseason. That catch was amazing. I mean, he wins off the line of scrimmage and he separates pretty well due to his height and his size. I mean, well, that's a different, you know, that's different. But, Due to his height and his size being a bit of an outlier in the Chiefs wide receiver room, that's why I say Ross could win reps by relying on his physicality, you know? So that's cool. I love what I'm seeing. And then Ross, he's just proving what he could do, you know? And he's not just going to win on only contested catches or vertical shots. He's going to show something. He's going to show something, you know? I just can't wait to see it, man. Now, a lot of people argue that this may be Ross even, this may be Ross's last shot of being something for this Chiefs team. But we'll have to see about that. But yeah, man, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, let me know. Like and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about Justin Ross and his future with the Kansas City Chiefs. You boy Chiefs already know about man. Peace.